The suffering endured by souls in purgatory isn't physical pain. Through the centuries, artists striving to convey the sufferings of purgatory have depicted men and women tormented by a burning fire. But those illustrations aren't a literal representation of the goings-on in the purgative state. They can't be. In purgatory, the soul remains separated from its body, though it can only suffer spiritually, not physically. That's not to say, however, that the flames of purgatory aren't real. They are. The fire by which we're purified is an interior burning for the love of God, explained Susan Tasson, author of seven books on purgatory, including prayers, promises, and devotions for holy souls in purgatory. Immediately after their death, the souls in purgatory saw God in all His glory. They saw His love, His goodness, and the plans He had for us. And they yearn for that, they burn for it, with a yearning that surpasses the heat of any earthly fire. In other words, the primary pain endured by those in purgatory is the loss of the sight of God. They suffer from what Tasson called a spiritual fever. As that fever rages, it separates the soul from sin, a process almost equally painful to the extent we're attached to our sin becoming detached from it hurts that Gorzine, seeing it in all its horror how it wounded us and wounded others how it led us away from god's perfect plan no physical flames could be as painful as that the souls in purgatory experience joy as well as pain. In the Divine Comedy, as Dante makes his way through purgatory, the souls he encounters suffer, but unlike the souls he met in hell, they suffer willingly and gladly, with no self-pity and always eager to return to their sufferings when Dante's questions cease. In their eagerness, those fictional souls testify to the enduring Catholic teaching that purgatory is at the outermost room of hell, but rather the anteroom of heaven. Every soul in purgatory is bound for glory. Their fate has been sealed, and ultimately it's a blessed fate. Therefore, the time they spend in purgatory whether short or long, is a time marked not only by suffering, but also by joy. Anything worthwhile requires pain to make progress, but it's pain with a reward at the end, said Father Longnecker. Sometimes it helps to think of purgatory, like the process of getting physically fit. There's pain, but it's a sign of progress. It means you're on the road to where you eventually want to be. That makes it a joyful pain.